What's this? Okay, I like it, Picasso. Yeah, that way. All right, what's going on YouTube? In today's video, I'll be installing this box that I custom built right here for a 2000 Ford F250 crew cab. If you want to check it out, make sure you stay tuned right here. And I'll go ahead and post all the links I use down below in the description if you want to check it out as well. And let's get to it. All right, so the box right here, it is for two 12 inch subwoofers and these are Scar Audio SVR12s. Uh, like I said, I'll have all the items down below in the description if you want to check them out. And these are uh, full size woofers because I think they sound better. So that's why I decided to use those, not any of the shallow mounts, even though some shallow mounts do sound okay. But I went ahead and made the box for, you know, full size woofers right here, as you can see. And the box right here is a 3.5 cubic foot box and it is tuned at 34 hertz. That's also why I have this 34 hertz embroidery right there. And then I did the custom logos right here just to make it look, you know, different. And I did go ahead and do the speaker terminals down here with nuts and bolts. You see it's got the red for positive and then on this one I just use like a silver copper color. So that's your negative right there. And then that's the connection right there so it won't be having any leaks and stuff like that. And down here on the left side of the box you can see the port hole right here because this box is ported. And it goes all the way inside the box. And as you can see, this wood right here is because the truck in the back wall has vents for the cabin. And that's why these parts right here are notched out in the back right here. Those two. And then, so that way it sits flush all the way against the back wall. And as you can see, I do have some wiring right here because I did add LEDs on the top. With some more embroidery right here. These are just designs, you know, that I found pretty interesting. So I just... Like embroider them right there and then put the Amigo Custom right here just to make it look a little bit cooler. And at night it lights up blue so it looks pretty good. And also this top piece is pretty much what you'll see in the box because the seat will cover all of this. So that's also why I did that to make it, you know, look better at night. Because you won't really see all this is going to be blocked off by the seat but whenever you fold it down, this is what you'll see. Also to make this box fit into that truck, I did have to flip the bottom brackets on the rear seat to move the seat forward and it moves about i say like three or four inches it's not really noticeable and it makes it fit real good because other than that like you can't fit this box back there all you can do is maybe fit like some tins or smaller subs and it's really tight but with that it gives you a lot of clearance into getting this box in there and i was gonna go a little bit bigger try to put them a 15 in there but we just decided to put this 212s in there, which are good, you know, 212s or 115 should be pretty similar, the cone area. So it should be really loud. And I'll go ahead and show you guys some of the process of building the box and all the other items I did use for the system. Also, if you like this content, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to help the channel grow. I think this will be one of the loudest F250s out there, like I said, because I haven't seen many uh, those trucks with bigger than 10 inch speakers and most of them will have like you know shallow mount or prefab boxes so let me know what you think down below in the comments and let's see if i can get this truck to flex real hard and get some good shots so let's go ahead and get to it
all right guys so here's a truck that i'll be installing the system in uh this is just a video i shot before because i was building the box so it took me a while to do it but like i said i'll show you like everything that's in the system the head unit speakers all that stuff and i'll go ahead and have the links in the description down below like i said so here we go let me show you real quick all right so starting off in the interior right here as you can see there's a driver door panel and you can see through the grill i am using kicker speakers and you can see the logo a little bit down inside here but basically the size are five by seven or six by eight which is basically the same and then on top i did add a kicker tweeters as well they're titanium tweeters also for the rear i'm using the same speakers as well overall i do like the way that the tweeters came out right here on the door panel they looked like they were close to the dash on the corner but they had enough space and i'll show you right now in a little bit when i close the door but this is basically the radio that i put in it's a pioneer head unit and as you can see on the other side that's the passenger tweeters pretty close to the dash but it has more space than the driver's side or you can see it more but you'll see when i close it and if you notice for radios usually i like using pioneer because they're very uh, reliable and they have like good sound quality i don't know if you ever noticed on my yukon and silverado i do have pioneer uh, touchscreens and radios as well this model right here also does have carplay built in so you can do uh, text messages maps and music from your iphone or android so you can see it on the touchscreen right there and right below the radio i did go ahead and mount the bass knob for the scar audio amp on the left side and the right side is the bass knob for the epicenter because i did go ahead and add one for it that way every song will pretty much have loud bass and they will have no issues at all and as you can see right here i'm gonna close the door this is what i was saying like where the tweeter looks like it doesn't have enough space but it actually does it just you know gets a little bit flushed down on the dash but it still sounds good and it looks good and that's pretty much it for the front end all i had to do on the radio was pretty much just trim a little bit of the plastic to make it fit but that was it and then this is the rear tweeters right here and the, the speakers are also below it but you can't really see it since they are below on the side of the seat but they are the same as the front 5x7 or 6x8 which is basically the same it's just the mounting hole that moves a little bit and i'll go ahead and show you right now under the hood right here i did go ahead and use true zero gauge and it's all copper wiring and it's made by sky high uh, you can see it right here under the boot right there and it is fused under the hood and fused in the rear that way you know you don't have no problems because you don't want anything to accidentally touch or get burnt you know because some people won't put fuses but that's what it is right there and you can see it's all copper but basically whenever you use the wiring kit you want to use you know all real copper none of the copper clad because that'll have like less copper in the wiring which is basically going to give you less power and all that you know so you want good current to flow through it but that's basically it under the hood he just kept it stock you know like stock alternator and the stock batteries which should be fine because i mean at least it has two batteries other than that i mean if he ever upgrades the batteries to you know agm batteries or a high output alternator it'll make the system sound even better and louder which is always good i'll go ahead and try to show you under the rear seat right now where i have the amplifiers mounted and the epicenter and also i didn't get to record when i flipped the rear seat bracket since i was doing the install and i got kind of busy or caught up but basically all i had to do was you know remove the seat bolts and unscrew the bracket and flip it around and then that was it so this is how it looks like right here with the seat already moved forward and you can see some of the amplifiers right there that's the four channel you can see a little bit right there and it's got more clearance than before because without it it would have like no space and so now on the top it'll have like extra space so all across you can see it's empty it's about four inches all across so now you know you can put a bigger box before the seat was actually touching the back wall so that's way more clearance and the woofer right here i just added it temporary while i was building the box so the truck could have some base because the boxes do take a little while whenever i'm making them since they're custom and you know you don't want to rush them up because you want them to come out good and look good as well but i'll show you right under the seat 
if I can get some shots from the amplifiers so this is the amps right here and you can see on the bottom of them I did put some nuts so I can have them lift it so they won't heat up because you know you want them to breathe and stuff but there's plenty of room down here and that's the base amp right there and on the middle I did go ahead and mount the epicenter and the distribution block but also I'll see if I can try to post some pictures on the screen because you know you know I can't really tell right here it's very crowded so you can tell this is a better shot right here but basically you know the four channel amp it's going to be on the left side which is a kicker amp and then the epicenter in the middle and on the right side is the scar audio subwoofer amp right here but that's all three right there in the back all right guys so i went ahead and mounted the custom box in the truck right here and as you can tell all you can see is the top piece of the box like i said earlier i mean that's basically all you see you don't really know that there's a custom box back there unless you look at this right here and i think it came out pretty good let me know what you think down below in the comments if you like it or not all right so i'll go ahead and show you guys how the box looks before i test it out and that way you know if you decide to get yourself a box build for your truck or you want to build it you know you get an idea of how it looks like because like i said i mean i haven't seen any trucks like this with bigger than 10 inch subs or prefab boxes but you know whenever you move the c forward you do have enough space now for 212s and i believe you can also do like a 15 because the clearance is you know it's pretty tall up in there and there's enough airspace back there for you know like 3.5 to 4 cubic foot depending on the wood you use and how you build the box but this is what the left side right here looks like with the port and you can see a little bit of the wiring right there for the leds tucked in on the side and it's pretty close but you know it clears it it's just enough for the port to breathe out right there and on the right side it's pretty much the same all i had to do in the rear was cut a little bit of the factory carpet as you can see on the sides that brown carpet but you know it clears it so it looks stock and you can't really see the the back wall of the truck or nothing like that so it's all good and whenever you put the seat um back it does touch on the top of the box a little bit but it doesn't damage the woofers or anything like that because if you can see right here i did add a you know some wood in front of it so that the subwoofers were tucked inside that's pretty much it for fitment right there and you know whenever you put the seat bag you don't really notice that the box is there all you see is the top piece and i did go ahead and wire it up to the parking lights so it only comes on at nighttime and i'll show you that right now Whenever I turn on the headlights or parking lights, the lights will come on at night. And I like hooking them up to the parking light because that way, you know, you don't have to have them on in the daytime. Because, I mean, sometimes you can't really see it, even though these are pretty bright, as you can tell. It's got a whole bunch of LED strips all around. So, you know, it glows really good. Even like right now in the daytime, it looks, you know, bright blue. But basically, I like to hook them up to the parking light or headlight wire so they can automatically, you know, come on and turn off by themselves. And I don't really have to worry about it too much. But you can hook it up to whichever you want. And I'll go ahead and drive out the truck so we can check out the system and see what it does. Let's go. Alright guys, so I got the truck right here ready to go for the audio test. And I'll try to get as much flexing as I can on camera. And also, uh, it might distort, you know, because the microphone on the phone. But I'll try to pick up as much as I can. And for this example, I'll only be using the regular bass knob since this will be mostly like rap songs that you know don't require no epicenter but here we go Neck, 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 yeah. Don't worry, mama, we gon' start on anything. Hey, you did it. You did it. Fuck 
with the beef. Keep your mind on that motherfucking pipe. We did. We did. Different bitches, different flavors. I keep this shit playing. We did. Not whatever play with me and can't nobody save me. Tell me who working harder than me, though. Taxing like I'm moving kilos. If the eclipse take it out, then I reload. Doctor the respect, I repeat it. Look. Different bitches, different flavors, I keep that shit playing. Buy whatever, play with me, and can't nobody save me. Alright guys, that'll be it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Work out. Yo, I do what you want, yo, pockets full of lies, yo.